are y'all? It's me, Ella Hall. Hey guys, and welcome back or welcome to Elements of Ella Hall, where I talk about things that interest me, affect me, or am very passionate about. And in today's video, I'm going to be recapping 22 things I did in 2022. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So in no particular order, the first thing I did was I took a hiatus from YouTube. This was a mix of multiple things. One, school stress. Two, I didn't have much motivation to post. Three was basically I had a lot of ideas I wanted to do, but later on down the line, I was like, eh, this is stupid, and I didn't have enough passion for it anymore, so I just dropped it. And then another one of the most obvious reasons was I didn't have storage to film anything at all, so that was a bummer, but I'm glad I had a bit of space to come back and film these ones. The next thing I did was I completed Chloe Ting's New Year's 28 day workout challenge back in January. Yay consistency! I was in a lot of pain, but I did it. The next thing I did in 2022 was this year was big for my spiritual journey. So I was in my second year of confirmation prep this year and one of the requirements we have to do before we get confirmed is to go on a weekend long retreat. So we went up to the mountains in North Georgia and we went on a nice confirmation retreat away from our parents with a group of people our age, hallelujah, especially if you're the child of an African parent or the child of strict parents. It was just so nice, so relaxing, so fun. If I could go back again, I definitely will. I love Cove Crest so much. The next thing I did in 2022 was I performed more plays for my acting class. I actually moved on to acting two this year. And one of the new things we got to do was a ma was a max a wax museum based on different historical figures in world history and US history. So basically all the non-white people that you're supposed to talk about in US history and especially world history that was basically the acting two kids is scraps. So I got to play Claudette Colvin the woman who refused to give up her seat to a white person nine months before Rosa Parks. Give her her flowers while she's still here. The next thing I did in 2022 was I got confirmed back in the spring. So I am officially a confirmandi sealed by the Holy Spirit. Amen. The next thing I did in 2022 was I celebrated my sweet 16. Yay! 16 years of life on this planet. Ooh, Earth has tested me, but I'm still here. On to the next. <laughs> the next thing I did in 2022 was I went on vacation for the first time in three years because this pandemonium was not letting us go anywhere. So me and my family went to Jacksonville Beach, Florida in the summer. And one of the things I was really excited that the hotel had was a hot tub. And so it was occupied most of the five days we were in there, but some days where we did get to go to the beach, we did get in the hot tub. And it was so nice, like the bubbles, it was relaxed, it was warm, and it wasn't from any nasty substances. It's satisfying, a nice experience. I loved it. The next thing I did in 2022 was I experimented with more knotless styles. So I added more colors in my hair. I also did a knotless braided bob for my birthday. And then recently, as you just saw in my last videos, I did jumbo knotless braids. 
so I can sleep peacefully without a pounding headache the first three days after I do my hair. Once I went knotless, I'm not going back. Thank you, Pinterest, and thank you, Google. The next thing I did in 2022 was I got my eyebrows and mustache wax. Can you believe there was a time this year where I was without my signature arches? Well, I was. I got them waxed like two days before my homecoming dance. And I got my, and so the lady was just like, oh, you want to add your mustache too? And so I did. And if you guys are saying, oh, where's the mustache? I don't see the mustache. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not there. And those things grow so fast. Shame. Speaking of the reason why, I went to homecoming. Yeah, I went to homecoming a few days after that. It was nice to see me hanging out with my friends on a non-school day, even if it was a school-related event. So the highlight of homecoming was really me just getting to see my friends and I had this dress that has been in my closet for the past year, so I was glad I got to wear it. Honestly, my expectations were low for the event anyway, and we even had to pay for food. So admission, we had to pay $33 just to walk in there and you're telling me I also have to pay for food? Capitalism is disgusting. The next thing I did in 2022 was for homecoming weekend, I also did my makeup. I was finally able to get foundation that was my shade because normally I would just like use my mom's makeup and I will look like an African auntie. I will look like a literal ghost. But now that I got makeup to match my shade, I did some full face looks. So yay, it's like I'm not wearing anything and you could just see, you know, my lip gloss and my eyeshadow. The next thing I did in 2022 was some, we changed the floors in our house and that dirty, nasty carpet is gone and we got some tiles. And also, if you could see faintly in the corner, I got some new curtains for my room as well. Yay, this room is looking so cute now. I'm so glad. The next thing I did in 2022 was I finally got my permit. Yay. After over a year and a half of procrastinating, saying, I'm going to study for my permit. I'm going to study for my permit. I'm going to do this. The main reason why I was avoiding it was because I thought that you needed to look in that Permers, permit driver's manual thing. So mm -mm, don't do that. It's useless. If you want to succeed on your permit test, please just use um, a free example test. If you do a mock test, those prepare you more for what's actually on the test than the manual because even some questions on the practice test are on the actual test. So it's pretty easy. The next thing I did in 2022 was I started a club. I started an African Caribbean Student Association at my school with a few of my friends. And I can't wait to see more of our plans be executed in 2023. The next thing I did in 2022 was not only did I become a junior, but I also became a senior. So I like to classify myself as a junior, a junior, and a senior. But now that I'm stepping into second semester, I can fully say I am a senior because I don't need to waste another year in high school when I could just do my remaining credit this year. And so I'm just ready to get out, go, and move on with my life. The next thing I did in 2022 was I went to some more African parties. You know, even though nobody's my age except for like a little kid or my parents' friends that have kids that have kids of their own. 
The main reason why you go is of course for food and for entertainment and it did just that. The next thing I did in 2022 was I had a senior photo shoot. I had my first professional photo shoot done by Katie Studios. So that was one benefit of me becoming a senior too is the photo I took for my junior year was horrendous. Like I tried to lay my edges, the eco became white. I put some mascara on. My lashes were looking like literal spider legs, like everything, just it, it just looked bad. Not even professional editing could save that. So me getting a redo like almost a month later, the photos look so good. I'm gonna insert some in a few seconds, but yeah, they look so good. The next thing I did in 2022 was I wrote a 10 minute play for my dramatic writing class. It's called One Star and it's a short thriller based on the story of Samantha Josephson, a 21 year old college student that mistook an oncoming car for her Uber and got murdered. So of course I changed some things up, but that was the main baseline. And even though it took me at least a good two, three weeks to write it, I'm very proud of it. The next thing I did in 2022 was I applied to college. I applied to two colleges near me. I would have applied to more, but school Wi-Fi is trash and it took me two hours to do one application. College applications are so stressful and so long and so boring and depressing. I just can't wait till I get that email saying I got in. But what's done is done. Thank God it's over. The next thing I did in 2022 was I went back to the movie theaters to go see Black Panther Wakanda Forever. And I'm so glad Wakanda Forever was the first movie I saw when I came back from theaters. It was such an amazing movie. Like, I laughed, I cried, I smiled. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. I was so pissed when I had to pee because there's no point where you could fall asleep or leave in the movie because it's action, action, and action. And I was so pissed when I saw that so many people were getting up after um, Rihanna started seeing Lift Me Up. Have y'all not? been through Marvel training? Just because the credits roll does not mean it's the end when it's a Marvel movie? Shame. But yeah, I enjoyed the movie and I can't wait to stream it when it comes on Disney Plus because everyone looks so good. Everybody was so great in the movie. And lastly, even though I wasn't on YouTube a lot, I did post a few shorts here and there. I hit 3,000 views on YouTube. So yay, thank you guys for watching my channel this year, even though I didn't post as much. So yeah, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe. My last video is in the description and go and follow me on my social medias in the outro. All right, I'll see you guys in 2023. Happy New Year. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.